Well, everyone, we've almost done it. In a few days, we can actually say we've survived our first full year with the Flaming Cheeto as president. <laughs> you know, it, it's not even about politics for me. I just have a hard time wrapping my head around this because Trump's presidency sounds less like a real thing, more like a joke you would hear on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I mean, this is the story all about how our country got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> I mean, can you just imagine some episode of The Fresh Prince where it's the future and they let you know it's the future because Will Smith has some long Gandalf beard? And Carlton says, well, Will, times have been tough since Donald Trump became president. And the audience laughs. And Will Smith says, Donald Trump's president? Aw, oh, hell no. Because that's the thing Will Smith says. And Carlton says, well, he did just beat Harold Hillary Clinton. And the audience laughs. <coughs> so, traveling out of state, I got my first speeding ticket recently. And the, it, was, it was a crazy situation. The cop pulls me over and he asks me all these crazy questions like, Where were you going? What time did you get up? What did you have for breakfast? Where, and he repeats them. Where were you going? Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? What's the capital of Assyria? Have you ever met a girl that you tried to date, but a year to make love she wanted you to wait? And then, I kid you not, he frisked me. The cop pulls over this boyish looking white guy wearing a Bart Simpson shirt and listening to sticks. <laughs> and he frisked him like he's some dangerous criminal. I don't know, maybe he, maybe he must have come sail away from some down and dirty gangster rap. Now, <laughs> times like that make me just want to say FTP. File Text Placement. <laughs> And what, what really angers me is my cousin Roy is such a bad driver. You know those roadside memorials you see every now and then? Roy is such a menace to the road that every time he sees one of those, he insists on stopping and having his picture taken at every single one he caused. <laughs> and I'm the one that gets the ticket. And I'm sorry to say my cousin Roy is... Uh, is fairly right wing, like we were watching a football game together. He's not, uh, he's uh, not a big fan of the whole take a knee thing, but I really don't buy his outrage at the whole movement, because I've seen that man jerk off during the national anthem. And I'm sorry to say it was at a game. Yeah, we saw somebody fumble the ball and he's like, yeah, that's exactly what you can expect from an N-E-G-R-A-B-O-O-B -O -O -B like that. <laughs> I should be mad at my cousin Roy's casual racism, but I'd really just like to ask him what exactly a neighbor of boob is. <laughs> well, that's my step, but before I go, I know it's getting cold and rainy. Um, if your shoes are ever so wet that they're actually soaked from the inside, stuff some newspaper in them and I'll dry them right out.